We do now have our new Seamless Pro Triple Stick Single Side Hair Wefting Tape. This is some really great now options for cutting to your desired lengths. So now I just wanted to show you here's what it looks like once it's on. It's nice, it's soft, it's pliable, non-shiny, really, really super aggressive holding Seamless Pro adhesive. So we're really excited to show our new single side tape. This is not like the maximum hold. The maximum hold is the little teeny weeny one quarter by one and hit one half uh, width tabs. This is way easier to work with. And so we just wanted to show you a really quick tutorial on how to use this. Um, it also doesn't curl up when you're opening it up like the little tabs do. Okay, with all that said, just want to show the girls, um, you know, that you can take your single side tape, and that's what this is, a little strip. And what I like to do is start the end, just so I don't have to do this later, and I like to just give it a couple little warm breaths, which helps warm up the ends, so then you can peel the backing off. And then you can take it and press it like this, come up to where you are, and then cut that strip to exactly where you would like that to cover. So once you cut that, we're gonna go ahead, peel that one off and turn it around, sticky on that side so it will stick and you press it onto your weft and now you have got a single sided weft. So that is a way to just cover what you already have with our strips, really neat because we also have them in quarters depending on what size weft you have. Hair extension, weft, that's what that is. If you're going to make a hair extension using our hair extension wefting tape, this is, our wefting tape is made, so if you wanna take bulk hair, virgin hair, that's what this is, this is virgin dark, um, beautiful hair. So you can now, you know, make a weft using our wefting tape, and then after it's done, like this one, you can go ahead and cover it up so now you can have it sticky on one side to do your sandwich method or however you do your application and now not sticky on the other. If you're going to make a hair extension and you haven't seen any of our other videos, this is how you do it. You roll out, you get your hair wefting tape. We have our, our wefting tape is specially made, two tapes in one which means the inside's different than the outside that applies to your hair. Okay, you take your tape. I pre-cut mine because it's just so much easier. You roll it out, lay it down. All right, so then you take a little bit of this liquid gold glue. I like this glue because it dries really well. It's super uh, perfect for this uh, application. So again, I'm just gonna take, oh, I'm gonna take this virgin hair pull it out like that, pull that thing off, and there we go. Virgin hair, and now I'm just gonna make this little extension showing you how you would make your own seamless hair weft. So once that's done, you just lightly press. I like to use the end of my tube, keeps it off my fingers. So again, press down if anything gets stuck to your tube okay you want to just take another little bit of glue and go across it making sure you get all the strands and kind of dipping it in there you want to make sure that really gets saturated in there okay all right so once that is done you want to if you're done with that and you don't want to add any more colors like you can always go back and add a different color however you like to make your weft let's just show you here i'm going to take an old weft cut a little bit off just to show you that you can make these piano colors or whatever colors you like and I'm just gonna press a little bit of blonde in there that's just gonna be really pretty and I'm again so you can see it coming up the, the liquid gold glue and that's what you want so I'm just gonna do that and I'm making sure that that glue really saturates into the hair because between our specialty hair wefting tape and this glue, you're gonna get a beautiful weft that lasts forever. And if you ever get shedding, that's due to the fact that you, A, probably didn't use enough of this liquid gold glue and or the ultra hold if you're going to do a platinum blonde hair 
Again, just real quick, Ultra Hold is great for really blonde hair or platinum white hair because it's clear. So you would pour a little bit of that into one of our syringes and do the very same thing we're showing you here. That's just another option. So once you've done that and you've got that all done, super simple, I pre-cut my hair wefting tape. That's our hair wefting tape. We're hairweftingtape.com. It makes it super simple to remember once you get there. Then you go ahead, you lay that on top and press lightly and just tap it across. Some girls like to do this and about 20 minutes later they like to heat it up. If you're going to do that, do it and only tap with the flat iron and do not breathe that air because that cannot be good for you. So just saying, I have a fan going. That's the little motor going. Always have a fan to blow away any fumes of glue or adhesive and you just want to press it. You don't want to press it too hard otherwise you'll get it down here like I'm kind of doing. I really am not too crazy about it because a little bit is not going to hurt your weft because no one's really going to be seeing that. Again you pick that up. Now I'm going to cut the ends off and our hair wefting tape is made special just for this method although everybody uses our wefting tape for every different type of install because this is great hair extension tape it's great for making your seamless wefts so it's done all right so once that's done you want to let it dry at least 10 to 12 hours before you do an install or 24 and do it the next day install or your all your wefts once they're done then you can cut them to size and do what you like okay so now that that seamless weft is made I just wanted to show you what you will do later after you've let that dry you want to let it dry and come back and keep squeezing it together and that weft is done okay so now that that's done I'm gonna come back and whichever side you want attached to your hair you want to make sure that it's going to be sticky on that side that's going to attach to your hair right because you've got to have it sticky with that tape and if you want I want this side to be stuck to my hair so I'm gonna leave that backing on until I'm ready to do my install meanwhile I'm gonna take this side because I don't want it to be sticky I'm gonna pull my seamless pro tape single side and now cover that weft so now that's done I'm gonna go ahead and cut it to size and voila we have this beautiful weft non shiny really nice and matte finish really aggressive and now it's going to cover that weft so no more of this tape tabs or you know something that doesn't hold and this is the best single side tape um, we have ever come up with. I am super excited. So you can now make your hair extensions and or cover your wefts using our one half by 12 inch long strip seamless pro and what we like about it being long um, because we're saving money for everybody if it's not on a roll. We can't do it in a roll. It'd be too cost prohibitive. So having it this way you can then make them, cut them to size and that is a seamless weft ready to be applied and it's beautiful when it's dry it's ready to be applied with a matte finish and a really nice non-sticky single side so now we have the option of having a single side hair extension so again you can use any hair that you like this is some more virgin black hair that I have and any Thing that you want you can make them in piano colors just like we've showed before and in our other videos which you can find on hairweftingtape.com look under useful links and you will see that there's all sorts of videos there to help you for free on how to make your hair extensions but this is to show you how you can make a weft make it so you can have it sticky on one side and not on the other and you have it in one half by 12 inch long strips and now we're going to have in the next week a quarter by 12 inch so now you can just back your own if you just want one weft in this is what's great about this 
I liked it because I like the smaller pieces to back instead of the half inch. I don't mind just a little bit of stick on the bottom because that usually goes away when you wash your hair. So long story short, if I'm going to apply this to my hair and I'm going to do the sandwich method, I'm going to cover that backing with the single side, press it together, and that's my sandwich method if I only want one piece. So this is awesome. Uh, and yet it comes off, it holds really good and comes off super simple because it's such a nice um, little bit thicker than any of these thin, thin uh, tape tabs. So it really holds nice and uh, for a long, long install. This is not a short install tape. So like I say, it does all the jobs of making a hair extension, backing a hair extension, and or just covering your hair extension with single side Seamless Pro. Okay, so also real quick, uh, any tips and tricks uh, that we like to show that if somebody's made a weft and they didn't do it correctly or they're having any kind of shedding problems, what you do is I always push it. This one's really well made, so you're not going to see it. But if you push it like a little accordion, any gaping holes that you can get, um, then I would go back and take your liquid gold glue and push it right inside that hole wherever it may be and then tap it and let it dry. That's it. That's all you have to do. Okay, just to show you real quick, if you're going to make a seamless uh, hair weft extension and you want to use just the single side of that we now offer at one half by 12 inch long, please use the tw one half. Do never use our one quarter. That is just not enough strength to hold any weft. So long story short, just want to show you real quick, use your wefting tape. You have to have your wefting tape. Get your single side seamless pro, long strips. And if you're going to make a thin little small weft, just real quick want to show you, you can use your liquid gold glue on the backing of that seamless side. So if you just want to use the Seamless Pro and you want to just make it single side on one side, um, again, you can take any of the hair, but make sure it's not a thick weft. If you're doing a thicker weft, use our hair wefting tape because that's the safest route. So I'm going to show you real quick. Again, if you have any hair um, machine wefts that have any hairs, you want to cut them off, you can lay it down this way. And again, pressing down with the end of that. I like doing that because it gets any kind of hair that's hanging around with glue right on that. And again, if you're going to make a thin weft, just want to show you, go ahead and do it the very same way using our Seamless Pro single side, but you want to back it now with our hair wefting tape because you have to have the inside is our specialty hair wefting tape and the outside is our long lasting. So thin line tape and there you go so now we've made a single side I know that looks kind of weird but let me show you real quick all right so now you're gonna let that dry just like you did using the wefting tape cut all that off and voila now you have the single side only on one side making a thin weft because too thick of a weft again I want to really make people understand you want to use our hair wefting tape as that was made for a much you know bigger wefts like you know like this what I just showed you so if you're going to use more hair than just a little bit then definitely use hair wefting tape hair hair wefting tape then our cover of our single side all right so long story short now we have this beautiful little, I just wanted to show you real quick, you can use just our single side Seamless Pro tape strips, but just want to make sure everybody knows that you want to very, very carefully make your weft. And also, here's another tip. Take your backing, and if you're going to heat this up anywhere, we want you to cover that backing on the single side, just being safe. And that way you're not melting your backing at all. And so cover that up and then tap it with the flat iron if that's what you're going to do. Because you don't really want to have this uh, beautiful soft single side get messed up with heating or flat ironing it anyway. So 
Okay, so there you go. Now you can use the single side to also make a weft, a nice little thin weft. Um, you can make them as long as you want. Just don't put a whole lot of hair in there. And if you're going to put a lot more or do it much bigger, then go ahead and use our hair wefting tape, just like we showed you. But tip and trick, there you go. So now you have a single side, just the single side with one uh, piece of our hair wefting tape. Okay, hope that helps everybody, and I hope you uh, enjoy our new single side tape strips. These are just fantastic. Great. Have any questions, feel free to call or give us an email. We're happy to help. Thanks. Hairweftingtape.com